Adam Small here again from My Music Masterclass, and today we have another review for you, and I bet you can guess what it is. This is Donner's new backbeat drum set, which they just released, and we're excited to check it out here. Now before we get started, just like we always do on this channel, let's get to the disclaimer. Donner sent us this product in exchange for this video review, but they didn't tell us to say anything specific or coach us in any way, and we're just gonna tell it like it is and be unbiased as usual. So let's get started. All right, so this drum set has a lot of features. Uh, it lists for $13.99, I believe there's a $200 coupon at the moment, bringing this down to $11.99 as of the filming of this video. And like I said, Donna really packed a lot of features into this kit. So let's start with the obvious here. As you can see, there are lights. This thing has LEDs and they're customizable. Uh, we'll get into this, um, how to mess with them. You can change the colors and even the pattern they're doing uh, on the cymbals and on the drums. Uh, and we'll do that in a minute. But let's move on to some more specs. Behind me, and I have an overhead cam right over there to show it, there's a seven inch touchscreen enabled module, which is really cool for this price range. And we'll get into how that works in a second. Under here, we have a solid kick pad and it's dual pedal capable. So you could use a double kick pedal if you like double bass stuff. This kit came with a bass drum pedal, which is cool because for instance, I have a Roland TD-07KV kit. Um, which cost about a thousand dollars. I use it in the studio to produce tracks and um, It didn't come with the kick pedal. So I had to buy a Yamaha pedal for like two hundred dollars You know, so this came with a kick pedal Anyway, um, all these drums here are dual zone. So you have dual zone toms dual zone snare drum um, the cymbals have choke, so you can choke your cymbals. Another cool feature with this kit is its internal wiring system. Uh, basically, the rack has built-in inputs. There's one here, there's one here, there's one down there, and another one down there. So there's four different spots. Uh, the manual shows you what you're supposed to plug into each area, but you can use these cable ties that they gave me in the kit when they sent this uh, to clean up your area. I slapped this together for this review, so don't, uh, don't fault me for having kind of a messy wire situation. It can be much tidier if you're a tidy person. The backbeat also came with these drumsticks and it has a hi-hat pedal as well. The front of the module has a headphone output and an aux in, so you can use both of those. The back of the module has left and right outs. I'm putting them into my sound card right now, so you're gonna hear the sound of these drums direct into my card with you know no effects. There's also an SD card slot back there, as well as a MIDI out. You have the power button back there, the power jack, and a USB-C out. Lastly, well, kind of lastly, we're, there are more features that we're gonna get into as we do this review, but apparently this has 1,100 plus sounds. One more short disclaimer. As most of you know who watch the channel, I'm a professional bass player. That's really what I do. Obviously, I play guitar, um, I play some drums, I play piano, but they're not my main instruments. Uh, I mainly use this stuff to produce music in my studio. And I use MIDI so I can touch things up as well. So I thought it would be fun to test the stuff that I would use this for, like in my studio. And also the drum learning functionality because I'm always trying to get better at all these other instruments as well. So we're gonna check out everything this can do for someone trying to learn to be a better drummer as well. All right, so here we go. We've got this basic kit right here. You can see it. This is a kit 01 Funk 01, okay? Um, you can change your kits like this. It's super easy. You just move this knob. But let's see what this does, right? So let's check it. Right? All right, so we have our hi-hat here. All right. I've got my rims too. All right, so we got dual zone on these. Um, we can also crash my ride. I can choke it, just like they said.
Now let's say that the sensitivity on one of these drums isn't what I want. I want it to be higher or lower. Maybe it's too sensitive. Maybe I'm smashing it and it's not responding the way I want. Well, that's easy on this module. So all we have to do is hit the editor and you can see right now, I just hit a drum. Right now it's whatever I hit, you can see it changed to hi-hat, right? Crash. And you can see all the parameters, right? So if I hit my crash, for instance, you can see that I changed the sensitivity on this one. I didn't think that it was triggering the way I wanted to, so I made the rim sensitivity pretty high and the pad sensitivity pretty high. You can change the threshold, the mass time, the X talk, the curve type, and you can turn chase on and off on any of these drums, and it's that easy. And I can go back to the drum kit by just literally pressing that. And now here we are. On top, you can see that Bluetooth is enabled and working. Um, this is a room sound, so if I take that off, it should have no room sound, it should be drier, which you might prefer. Let's put it back on in here. Yeah, okay. A little different. And you can see that we have effects here. So I can choose that. And you can see that we have compressors on this one, uh, reverb, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. You can just kind of move around. It looks like you can add other stuff if you want. Um, I'm not gonna get into this at the moment, but there's a lot of editing that can be done to make whatever sound you desire. So I'm not gonna go through every kit, but I wanna show you that you can see that this one is called Kit 2 Through Walls, and all my colors have changed. Now we're like kind of an orangish, yellowish, greenish thing going on. And uh, yeah, this is what this one sounds like, as opposed to. And then we have this one. That's like funk too, right? And this one's turned a different color even. Funky G. Okay, that's interesting. Cool, let's move on. This one's called Machine. All right, so the rim is probably gonna be different too. Yep, see? Cool. This one's called Metal Gear. This one's called Nashville. I'm just kind of going randomly at this point because there's so many, but this one's called Rock 2. You get the idea on that one. Uh, let's click on this metronome link. There's a metronome right up top. Let's turn it on. We can choose what we're doing, what rhythm. Right now this is 4-4, four, four, right? Right, make sure you're in time. Uh, you can change if you want it to be a bell. Different sounds, that's wood, electronic. I'll keep it where it was. Actually, this one sounds cooler. Um, we can change the time signature. I can make it 7-8. 
and then I can make it faster. All right, let's make it 100 BPM. Let's also change our kit. Come on. Lead Z, small jazz. What is small jazz sound like? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, we're only on kit 13 here, and I didn't even play them all. I've been skipping around, but if you go through it, and you can see, what do we get up to? Here's 40. I'm already at... All right, so it looks like we have 50 kits. This is the last one. That's kind of cool. Sounds like it has a delay on it, a slap back. Yep. Cool, so like I said, there's 50 kits. We're not gonna go through all of them, but I wanna show you one thing. I'm just gonna go to a random kit here. I don't know. Sure, Fusion, Kit 47 Fusion. If you click on the instrument thing here, you can see that we have all different kind of parameters. You have an EQ here, uh, you have a voice tab, so you can change your sounds, right? You can make your own kits too. Um, I don't think I'll do that in this review because I wanna go over some other features, but that's obviously doable. I'm just gonna show you how to modify this. This is how you would make a kit as well. Um, got my snare drum here. That's my tom, you can see that lit up. That's a different tom. So every time I hit a drum, it selects it. This is my snare, I can change my sound to a different drum. Like if I wanted that sound, I could have it, right? Probably would. There you go. You could do that with all of your surfaces. You can change the sounds, you can do EQ, and here's a light section, right? I can change this one to green. Wow, that's cool, right? And this is the strobing effect, but I can change them, or I can change this one probably, just to gradient. Oh, they, they all change. They just go off when you hit them. That's interesting. Okay, then pulse. They just happen like that. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna not play with the lights anymore. You get the idea. Now we're gonna try the practice mode in the module here. Um, we have the practice here. We're gonna click practice. You can click rudiments. You can see all your stuff, right? So single stroke is obvious. Let's try single paradiddle. Okay, you can see that it's written out and it has stickings from your left, starting with your left hand and starting with your right hand. Um, we can try it and you can press start and you can hear that the metronome is going, but it stops, right? and which is hard unless you have a really, really good time. And if you're starting out, that might be difficult. So you can click up here and enable the metronome like I did before, and then it goes on. And you can go. And you can see that it gave me a score. So it seems that the score is not based on my sticking accuracy, like if I'm missing like right, left, right, right, left, you know, like that. It doesn't matter, it's about the accuracy on the grid, okay? So if I go like this, it's the same thing. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it the right way and practice your rudiments because it tells you how to do it and it's a cool tool. Like I said, you have, it looks like, wow, there's a ton of rudiments. You have 40 different rudiments. You have triple Rademacue, drag paradiddle, uh, flam taps, Swiss Army triplets, all that stuff. And it's all written out and you can practice it, so it is cool. All right, let's try the groove library and see what that is. Uh, rock. Okay, rock one. All right, so you can see that it's written out. You got kick, snare, you have another snare, you have your hi-hats on the top. 
and uh, let's play it. And again, my, my score here is my accuracy. And if I go back into the groove library here, you can see that I have rock, funk, Latin, and songo. These are different styles of music and different grooves. If I go to songo, you can see this is songo five. It's all written out for you. Um, anyway, that's the idea. There are tons of grooves if you want to do that. You also have songs. Now these are going to be like MIDI sounding songs, like pretty rough, right? Um, but there's also Bluetooth functionality in here, which I didn't mention before, which I'll show you in a minute. Plus they have an app, which I'm going to get to, but let's just try these MIDI songs. So let's click this one that's called pop one. It's the first MIDI track. All right. Now this right here, I just toggled off because otherwise MIDI drums will be on. I don't want that. I want to play to this, right? So I toggle that off. It's right here. Now I can go to my drum kit and here, if I click the AUGS in thing here, I have different options. I have BT audio, which is Bluetooth audio, but I also have backing, which is this. I'll keep it there instead and I'll play to it. So there's several of these MIDI tracks, as you can see here. Um, it's a lot of them. Plus there's an SD card option. I don't have a card in here, but you could load your own in and play to them. But we're going to try their app now because Donner has an app called Donner Play. I installed the Donner Play app on my phone here and I connected the USB-C cable instead of my computer, instead of putting it in there, I have now put it into my phone. And I am going to try to play along with their games, they call them. Uh, let's try one. Okay, so I have my phone. I'm trying to put it in this camera here so that you can see what's going on. This is their app, and I'm going to be able to play to some of these. I'm going to say rock. Uh, I don't know, driving rock. Now, this is the sheet music, and I'm supposed to play exactly what happens here. Um, of course, it's going to be difficult because I can hardly see it on this phone. I would have to have it on an iPad or a tablet and I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but I'm going to show you what this does. Uh, my eyes aren't what they were 20 years ago, but anyway, check this out. So if I say practice, all right, so what's going to happen, I think, is that notes are going to start falling down like Guitar Hero and I'm going to have to hit the right drum or cymbal. I'm not really going to do this for you, but I'll show you with the hi-hat for a second. Now you see, this would be working if I were playing the right thing, but you can see that it's saying miss. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on this or not, on this camera, but it's saying miss when I miss things and it says hit when I hit them. I guess I'm gonna get a score. So these are kind of fun. And I can put my click on or off right here. That says metronome. And I can change the tempo to medium, slow, and this is normal. So let's go back. And that's pretty much what this app does is I have all these different tracks. Hip hop, there's one there, there's funk, there's all kinds of different things I can do if I want to practice, right? But this also has Bluetooth, so I should just be able to find a cool drumless backing track on YouTube and play along to it uh, for part of my practice as well. Let's see how easy that is. I'm going to pair my phone via Bluetooth to this thing and see what happens. Okay, so I just loaded up a random rock drumless thing I found on YouTube. Um, there's a ton of backing tracks I could have picked, but I'm just making this quick. You can see here that I can change the volume of this, and this doesn't affect the drums, right? So I have two separate volumes. And I can get my volume right. And I can play to it, right? You get the idea, right? So basically any audio that I can get, either through Bluetooth, which is super easy, through my phone or whatever, 
I can just throw into this and play along to it. Also, like I said, it has an aux in on the front, so if you need uh, an eighth inch stereo cable from a laptop or whatever, you could always do that as well. Now for something completely different. Let's take this USB-C cable, put it in my software, and see if we can get it to trigger some of my VST drums. I connected the USB-C port back into my laptop. Um, it's in my DAW as a MIDI port. It's showing MIDI signal, and I loaded up Easy Drummer as a VST instrument. And let's see how this works. I didn't change any of the MIDI channels or assignments, so let's see if it's mapped to the drums, right? Pretty cool. So that's a really good sign. This thing was mapped perfectly without me changing any MIDI channels. It just works with my VST drums, um, which is important for me because I'm not a live drummer, as you can tell, I'm sure. Um, I drum in the studio to make tracks, and then I fix them in post. I fix them in MIDI while I'm mixing. So it's very cool that this thing is a solid MIDI controller that I could use in the studio. For sake of brevity, I am not going to test the eight separate audio outputs from this module into my software. It would just, um, you know, take every drum and put it on its own track. Uh, we don't need to see that right now, but I trust that it works because everything else seems to work here. Um, instead, I'd like to try something much more strange. I just took a cymbal off of my Roland V drum kit here and I plugged it into their module and it works. So, and it chokes, it does what it's supposed to do. So that's interesting. So the Roland symbol works with this. All right, so why did I show you that? Why does that matter? Well, it's interesting because this module has space for another drum another one, like another floor tom, and, or whatever you want to put, and another cymbal. So I can have two crashes and a ride, for instance. Um, so what if you have a Roland cymbal or an old Roland kit lying around? Well, mine worked. I don't know if yours will, but uh, the TD-07 works here. Uh, I could add this. I could mount it to this, add my cymbal. Obviously, I just kind of lifted it up and did it really haphazardly here because I was just testing it, but it works. I could put another cymbal and I could even probably put one of my pads here, my V-drums on the side if I wanted another, another tom. Of course, I'm sure you could buy Donner stuff as well if you want to add to it, but hey, this is science. I'm just testing stuff out. Lastly, because I want to be as scientific as possible, once again, I have routed this cymbal to my V-drum module, my TD-07 Roland module. And it sounds like this. So you can tell that it really does work. This is a disaster in here. You can tell that I have all my V drums just kind of like squashed because I'm routing one cable out just to see if it would work. I don't really feel like disassembling my entire V drum kit just to do this ridiculous experiment, but they're compatible with each other from what I can tell, okay? At least with these single surfaces. We're coming towards the end of the review here and uh, what are my thoughts? Well, I think there's a lot to like here. Uh, I think the LEDs are cool if you're looking to, you know, have some vibe while you're playing. Uh, it's interesting. It's not necessary for everyone, but if you like that kind of thing, you can definitely mess with it. You can change the colors for each drum, change the modes, uh, do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, but, you know, that has nothing to do with playing, right? It plays nice. It has nice coated heads. The feel is cool. Um, everything is triggering well. Uh, the module has a lot of options, and the touchscreen makes it so much easier to navigate than... Uh, 
you know, most modules you'll get in this price range. You have tons of features like the Bluetooth and the practice tools and all the stuff I showed. As for the sounds, I think they're nice and there's a lot of variety. I didn't even get into everything. There's world percussion, uh, there's more electronic drum stuff. Uh, it's really deep. At the end of the day, you have to decide what you're getting an electronic drum kit for. If you're doing it uh, just to learn how to play uh, as a beginner or to practice in your house or to do stuff in the studio like I do, I think this kit is, is really nice. It does everything I need and of course I could use my VSTs within my software if I want to do productions and all that stuff as well. As far as how this kit sounds compared to other brands, use your ears. Uh, go on YouTube and listen to other brands of electronic drums in the price range and see what you think. In my mind, for the price, I think it's really cool. So that being said, uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe. If you haven't, please like the video. If you liked it, uh, add a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time.